early spring, I had about five hummingbirds here. They went away. Then I'd have one or two. And now this morning, I think I've got five or six out here eating. We've made it to Thursday. I believe it's June the 9th. Okay, he's back with some hay. Let's see what's going on, y'all. We did get a little rain last night, so we've got a little bit of mud, a little bit of fresh. The cows were up here this morning. So, this is not the new hay wagon. Yeah, we did get a good rain. We got some mud left. Yeah, he's on the phone. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Thank goodness for good neighbors. So, apparently, we have two bulls from separate herds that have gotten in together and they are fighting. Apparently, we have some bad vents somewhere, so the, the herd, I don't know if it's the entire herds from two farms have gotten together, but I definitely know that we have two bulls fighting and there should only be one bull on each farm. So it's gonna be uh, oh, it's going to be Gelfi, so he could have jumped the fence, and it's going to be the heifer bull, Echo is his name, so it's going to be one of those situations where Echo is either on this side, or Gelfi is on the Sinkin Valley side, and so knowing Gelfi, he's jumped the fence, he's a jumper. But, knowing us, we also could have fenced down and Echo has come through on this side. We'll see. But thank you to the neighbor that called. You know who you are. Scott and I sure appreciate you. First things first. This herd should have the heifer bull in it. And we're thinking that we're going to have Gelfi over here. I'm not going up there because, I mean, I did put my running shoes on, but I do not want to run from two mad bulls, so I'm staying here. I'll update you when the cussing begins. Okay. Now all my cards are in the game because Ransom's going to help his dad check things out. Okay, so here's the situation. Update on the bulls. The cattle are pulling out from the area where we think Gelfie bull crossed over. So Ransom's going that way to make sure that all of this herd's on this side. And we are going to get the cattle trailer so we can go back over there, haul the Gelfie bull back to the home place. Anything else? Did I sum that up pretty good? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So this is a multi-use trailer. I also haul this bad boy around in it. He was about to miss the ramp, so I'm going to pick it over so that he doesn't wreck the lawnmower. Alright, 
so now we're going to go over and we're going to get Gelfie Bull and we're going to bring him back home in the Delta Cattleman's trailer. one of the bad boys that's been in trouble. Mm-hmm. He's panting. Gelfie, you are a bad, bad boy. The ladies over here at this farm are all coming down. Just checking the fly conditions. there I see uh, yeah she's got some on her not too bad all right let's get back to the bull action oh yeah they're ready for me I'm gonna put you all right here in the trailer with the bull do you see the bird's nest? The bird nest is built in the tree. Oh, hey. Here comes G. stubborn. Hey! 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 not cooperating. Hey! 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 Sure, come on. Sprinkle the corn and come on, R. Oh, man, you got oh goodness. Sure, come on. Come on. So Scott and Ransom were both in the bullpen. Ransom's trying to lure Gelfie over here with corn. Sure, come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, Come on, Gail. Hey! If y'all couldn't hear, Scott just asked Ransom, he said, did you run that bull? <laughs> I don't think, because the time we got over here, Ransom already had him up. Hey! And so. Oh, yeah. Hey! Okay, Gelfie, come on, buddy. <laughs> I'm on the outside of the trailer, but I'm trying to tilt my phone to see if there's anything in that nest. Son. You know, Scott's already saying, it's like, I can't get that done. I'm constantly getting pulled away for this, that, and the other. And so, 
Big G. You better straighten up. Big G, you've been a bad boy. So, through all of this, I still have an unanswered, an, un, an unanswered question. Has anyone seen the heifer bull? I haven't seen the heifer bull. Has Gelfie left the heifer bull laying back there somewhere because he whipped him? I don't know, but I'm gonna have to get my eyes on him. Okay, so maybe Ransom's looking for the heifer bull. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. I come on to get this gate so that we could pull big britches over our home. And I don't know what they're doing. Lord, I hope the heifer bull's not hurt. Hmm. Don't see him. So I don't know where Echo is. You troublemaker. You want that locked? Yes. So what you got to say to that troublemaker here, honey? Frustrated. <laughs> Just frustrated. I know. That's the way it goes. You never know from one day to the next what you're going to be doing. All right, so, Gil, you better stay home this time, big guy. Oh, Grandpa Echo gave him a run for his money. Come on, Hoss. So, you saw Echo? Didn't hear me. Go find the girls and stay there. Stay with them. I gotta get this thing pulled up so we can shut this. He yeah. Come right back. Oh, Law, don't let him come back. Okay. He's moving on. So, he's gonna drop the trailer and then. They're going to go work on the fence and while they're working on the fence, I guess I will work on supper. So yeah, it's getting about that time. I'm going to check and see if the bird's nest stayed in place through all of that. All right, so bird's nest. Yeah, it's there. I see it. Yeah. Yep, it's still there. And it still has eggs in it. So, another load of hay coming in off those fields today. And that is the new wagon that Ransom constructed. Well, y'all, I'm curious. I'm curious to know what a roll of hay 
this size roll of hay. What is a roll of hay going for in your neck of the woods? Before I go, I do want to let you know that Echo was fine. He was where he was supposed to be. The guys didn't get their eye on him, so he is a-okay. I'm going to watch Scott unload some hay. Thank you all for watching this episode of The Cattleman's Life, and until next time, God bless y'all.